being. How about that performance? It was awesome. I uh, couldn't have asked for anything else. Um, we were looking forward to this for so long, and I know our players were excited to be out here and, and play in front of friends and family, and it's not always easy to do, but um, they handled it well, and I think once they settled down after that first nine holes, uh, they, they played like we knew they could. Looking behind us, the course looks absolutely incredible. Jerry, Jay, their staff, how about the way the course came together and looked this week? It's awesome. It's the best I've ever seen it. And, you know, that was part of the fun of hosting this tournament is bringing in teams and, and people from the outside that have never been to the Rawls course before. So to be able to show that off and um, let it play uh, with greens are awesome. I mean, you could have asked for anything better. So we're so proud of our course and um, thank Jared and Bammer and Jay for everything they've done for us. Kind of some of where the team is at right now and maybe some of the depth as you had six or seven players play really, really well this week. Yeah, uh, we've gotten off to a good start this fall. Um, play Pebble Beach, which is an awesome golf course. If, if you don't learn uh, after playing three rounds on that, uh, what's going well and what, what you need to work on, then, then something's wrong. But I uh, went to Dallas and, and shot under par um, and then played here and, and had from one to eight play really good in this tournament. Um, Shannon wasn't here. She was out in Korea playing at a professional event. So. Uh, she'll be back in qualifying this week, but we've got a good trip coming up to Chicago um, And our team's competitive and as a coach, you know, you couldn't ask for anything more than having strong players fighting for the top five spots Chelsea Romas setting the course record today I believe it was a 64 after somebody tied it yesterday with a 65 How special is that for her and for this program and for you guys? It's great. I, I couldn't be more happy for Chelsea. She's one of the hardest workers I've ever been around. And uh, when she gets the putter going, uh, she can shoot 64. She did it for us last fall too, uh, to end the season. So uh, just, I think good things are ahead for her. Uh, it's just awesome to see it on our course. And then Mike obviously wins the Indy title. Just thoughts on that and maybe the whole freshman class playing well this week. Yeah, Maya has been impressive ever since she got here just a couple of weeks ago. Um, to come in as a freshman and, and be our number one player in this tournament and um, lead the team the way she did in Dallas and, and Pebble Beach has uh, been awesome. So um, she's a hard worker too, and it's going to be fun to watch her for three and a half more years. Maya, we'll start with that. You got the trophy right there. What does it mean to you to win the home tournament and to get your first win in your college career? Oh, it's amazing, honestly. To get my first win and my third start, it's incredible. And to do it at our home course, like I dreamt about it, but I didn't think that would be possible that fast. How are the, how's the team feeling and how about the start to the season for the team? Oh, really good. We are, I feel like we're working really hard towards that and like the results are coming slowly. So I'm really glad that we won this as a team because that was really important to us. Would, uh, would be remiss if I didn't mention Chelsea Ramos as well, setting the course record with a 64 today. Yeah. How cool is it to have all of these kind of milestones lining up? She did amazing. Like, I was so happy when I saw that. She shot eight under. I already told her that. Like, that's amazing.